Good morning, everybody. Well, it's pretty early Wednesday morning, 8 July. I'm down here on our farm and the way that up against the hills of the Tararuas. Today, I'm going to comment about the policy releases yesterday by the Minister, Minister of Immigration, Ian Lee's Galloway. So first, let me go to share the screen. And that's what I think I want. There we go. So I'm from TDA Immigration. My name is Tōriki Delamere. I was the Minister of Immigration many years ago. If we can help, by all means, contact us. But what am I talking about today? The work visa policy changes announced yesterday afternoon by Ian Lees Galloway, uh, the Honourable um, Ian Lees Galloway, Minister of Immigration. And he made some changes to the employer assisted work visas. So, if you are on an employer assisted work visa, and it's currently valid through to 31 December 2020, and if you are in New Zealand, this does not apply to people who are stuck offshore. Only if you're here in New Zealand currently working with a valid work visa till 31 December 2020, and as an employer assisted work visa, your work visa <coughs> has been automatically extended by six months. Now, what is an employer assisted work visa? Well, these include essential skills work visas, where the employer is specified, work to residence visas, where the employer is specified. There are special and skilled work visa categories um, for China, Indonesia, South Korea, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, and Japan, which list um, occupations for those countries. They're all different. Um, if you're on one of those, your visa has been automatically, automatically extended by six months. And any work visa that's been granted under Section 61, where the employer is specified, but that has been extended by six months. Now, the extended work visa, all of your conditions remain the same. So same employer, same job title, same location, remains the same. If the conditions of your employment have changed or are going to change, you must apply for a variation of conditions to your work visa. If you don't do that, you could have trouble later on. And if your employment has ended, it's been terminated, you've been made redundant, then you must apply for a new work visa. Okay? Your visa has not been extended by six months. And if you lose your job um, while it's been extended again, um, you must apply for a new work visa. The extension is automatic. There's nothing you need to do. You don't need to apply. It's going to happen. Immigration New Zealand will email confirmation of your new work visa extension. Um, that'll go to the all the qualifying employee assistant work visa holders, or if you have a designated representative, lawyer, immigration advisor, it will go to them. And that will be no later than Tuesday, 14 July. Now, perhaps more importantly, let's look at who doesn't get automatically extended. Well, unbelievably, in my mind anyway, unbelievably, the families of employee assisted work visa holders, your partner, husband, wife, spouse, your dependent children who are here in New Zealand. Remember, they must be in New Zealand. The expiry date for their current visa will remain the same. There's no change. So while the partner or uh, well, the work visa may get extended by six months, um, 
the other partner and the children. Sorry, your visa will expire on the current visa date. So what are your options? It's quite simple, not what you want to hear. You must leave New Zealand or you must apply for a new visa. And there is no guarantee that a new visa will be granted. And in this day and age of um, you know the COVID-19 situation, who knows? Um, hopefully the morality of the situation, the ethics of the situation, the government will make sure visas are granted. It sort of blows my mind somewhat that the government, the minister has seen fit to extend the work visas for the working partner, yet his family just leave them up in the air. Why hasn't the government, government extended those visas for? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. And these are the other visas that will not be automatically, automatically extended. If you're on an open work visa, as I just said, a partner work visa, a post-study work visa, those are all forms of open work visas. If you're on a seasonal work visa, and it's not for a specific employer, and all student visas, all visit visas, none of these will be extended. So before your expiry date, you must either leave New Zealand or you must apply for a new visa. And if you don't leave New Zealand and you don't apply for a visa, you will become an overstayer subject to eventual arrest and deportation. And so don't let that happen, okay? Either leave New Zealand or put in a new application. So those are your options. Um, and yeah, it's all a result of COVID-19, a terrible situation. Anyway, everybody, look, I hope that's been useful. That's a useful summary. Check your expiry date for your visa, okay? If it's not employer assisted, it hasn't been extended. And therefore, you must apply for a new visa um, before the expiry date, or you will become an overstayer unless you leave New Zealand. So once again, thanks for listening. And next time I know something, I will have a new video um, out for you.